We are apparently about a few weeks away from Roblox allowing anybody verified to upload UGC items, so you'd think UGC moderation would be tightening up. You'd think they'd be removing UGC rule violations and being a little stricter on things to set an example for the eventual wave of new UGC uploaders, but instead the exact opposite has happened and we've now reached a point where apparently UGC is not even moderated. I really wish we could go back to the days where stuff like this was the big UGC drama because it has gone way beyond just copies being uploaded now. So recently, there has been a ton of knockoffs and re-uploads hitting the catalog yet again. This seems to happen once every couple of months where a mass amount of rule breaking items get uploaded in a huge wave. Usually Roblox is somewhat quick to remove things after a few days and things then quiet down but pretty much nothing is being done here. Feels like we get a fake Dominus multiple times a day with a bunch of Valks and Domino Crowns and other popular limiteds. We've seen that a million times now, but what we haven't seen before with UGC accessories is bypassing in more inappropriate ways. That's right, we're now getting UGC items bypassing Roblox moderations in ways we'd see in places like Meep City. Before we get into what bypassing is being done, which includes multiple different things, Let's take a look at some surprising news. Apparently, either there's no text filter for the title of UGC accessories or the filter has completely broken and is allowing anything. Peak UGC posted this video, which I'm not going to play since YouTube's going to get mad, but it shows the filter isn't working at all. What was being put as the title was some pretty bad stuff, but somehow it wasn't being blocked by any text filters like it should have been. Peak UGC has a whole lot of haters, so maybe someone faked it and is trolling them, but even if that's the case, something is still going on here. Yesterday, a ton of UGC items got uploaded with all kinds of bypass names, showing there is something severely wrong with the UGC name filter. This has been happening for a few days now, with multiple different varieties of bypassing, whether it be a bunch of words shumbled together or a single word somehow being allowed. I don't know if the filter is somehow broken and it's just taking Roblox too long to fix or if there's actually no UGC text filter, but something is going wrong. I posted some on my Instagram without any blocks if you're interested in seeing what they actually say, but it's just wild how this stuff exists. Somehow those aren't the worst examples of a UGC bypass because there's an even worse thing that was attempted. Apparently someone attempted to upload a knockoff of a popular limited but with a texture straight out of a Meep City party. The texture passed initial content moderation and I can definitely see why because it looks like random nonsense until you realize what it'll be on the mesh. I don't know what has happened with it since, but there was at least an attempt to upload a high-end limited knockoff with a really weird bypass texture. That attempt shows how bold some of these UGC creators are getting when it comes to uploading bypasses, which is a very bad sign. Since these people are seeing they can get away with all of these copies and now swearing, they're trying to upload other things too. Things have gotten to the point where we're seeing a lot of discussion about what's going on from people who usually don't involve themselves in controversy. We're probably just weeks away from public UGC becoming a reality, yet this is the current state of Roblox UGC accessories. We've got more knockoffs than ever before, tons of copyright infringing items, and now text filter and potential asset bypassing. Some UGC creators are getting sneaky and pushing the limits of what they can get away with, and that'll also happen when anyone verified can make items too. And right now, it appears that UGC creators can get away with anything, because it's not looking like Roblox really cares about what's going on. This sets a very dangerous precedent, especially with the types of users who may want to abuse this stuff once it goes public. We've seen people try to upload stuff referencing or intended for inappropriate stuff, and I fear that's most likely going to rise with how Roblox is handling things. Roblox has to get a grip on UGC moderation because as goofy as all the knockoffs are, much worse is likely to come if this is how they're moderating UGC.